All right, guys, welcome back. James with JC Trails here, and it is new bike day. Woo! So here we are, the 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper 29 S Works, full carbon frame. I went with the uh, the matte gray or the we call it raw carbon look with the storm gray accents. It's like a little light blue color. Looks real sharp. It's kind of murdered out looking with no graphics on the wheels or anything. Everything's just blacked out with these gold accents from the Fox suspension and menthol bars. But um, one with a size medium, um, you know, 5'10", 175 pounds. And the medium was a, a touch small um, and the large was a touch big. I decided to go with the medium, keep it a more playful, uh, poppy bike. Um, trails here around my house in the South Shore are real tight and technical, so it's a little easier to maneuver a smaller bike than having a large bike. But if I was racing enduro or lived out west where the big mountain riding is, I'd definitely go size large. Um, not much changes I've done with the uh, Stump Jumper. It's pretty much stock right now. I've had it for about a month and uh, I'm loving it. So the only changes I've made right now are the Renthal Fat Bar, 780 millimeters wide, and the Renthal Apex Stem, and it's 60 millimeters long. And it's a little rise. Um, yeah, I just went with the 60 millimeter stem for that, just to help me keep the front end down and kind of opens up the cockpit a little bit, since I'm on a size medium. A quick overview, guys, of the bike. My beloved Fox 36 factory fork, Kashima coated, um, real stiff, real plush, 150 millimeters of travel. So this is the long travel version uh, stump jumper, which has 140 millimeters of travel in the back. And that shock, or helping out that travel is the factory uh, DPX2 uh, Fox Shock, Kashima coated also. Um, real plush, easy to set up. Um, I might put a coil on it and see if I can fit a coil. I don't know, I haven't seen one yet for Fox. I, I would like the Fox one um, and see how this frame handles it. But uh, everything else is pretty much stock. You can go to uh, specialized.com and check out the details and specs of this bike. But uh, just some highlights again. Carbon Revolve Traverse wheels, big tires. It's got the Butcher uh, 2.6 inch wide tire on the front and the Purgatory 2.6 tire on the back. And uh, I'm gonna probably change this uh, tire to a 2.3. It's just a little too much in the back. It's a lot of extra weight I'm pedaling around. That's not needed. But um, this being the S-Works, everything's carbon fiber on it pretty much besides the bars I changed out because it's got the SRAM Guide RSE brakes. So they feel really good. A lot of modulation they call it, but I still prefer Shimano. But these works, uh, these brakes are working pretty good, so nothing too bad there. Um, yeah, if you turn it around, we got the SRAM XX1 rear derailleur, 12 speed, 10 to 50 tooth, and a 32 sprocket up front. And it's all tricked out looking because it's got the black chain, uh, black is set here. That's the Eagle 50 tooth is just silver. Real nice carbon cranks. Um, what do you expect from XX1? So it's, I guess, some of the best stuff, right? Um, also, a nice feature is the SWAT um, that Specialized has. It's got the little SWAT here for your multi-tool. And you just pop it in the top cap here, and it's right there. So it's no longer on the bottle cage or inside the frame. It's right here. It doesn't move. never popped out of me yet. Um, hopefully it won't. <laughs> I haven't lost it. And also continuing with tw uh, uh, carbon frames on the stump jumpers. It's got the SWAT door. Store your snacks, tubes, pumps in there, and a water bottle on top of that. Um, it's a little bit more room than last year's model, which is nice. But uh, real nice uh, thing to have so you don't have to wear a pack. Because I don't like wearing packs. But initial pressures about the bike, you know, like I've said, I've ridden it for a month. Everything's been working phenomenally. My only complaints with the bike are the command post goes up a little too fast so if you're not careful it can really uh check your manhood <laughs> um and there's also a little bit of play in the the seat here and i don't really like that when you're turning or you're hitting a turn and you're still seated down like those tight turns it kind of moves with your leg and i don't know how i feel about that but the lever is nice it's under mount bar lever and it's got 160 millimeters of drop so it, it gets the saddle out of the way but i might transfer that or exchange that for a uh, Fox transfer with the Kashima Kota to kind of go with the theme of the bike. Um, and I'm really impressed how it feels and handles on the trail. So far, uh, the bike's just fast. It pedals just as well as uh, the high tower and uh, other bikes I've test ridden. But you can pretty much do anything an Enduro can do um, on this bike, especially in this configuration, the long travel with the Fox 36 and the DPX 
uh, to rear shock. Um, yeah, so pretty dope bike. I'm very fortunate I can uh, get it. Guys, if you haven't seen the review of uh, the 2019 Stump Jumper, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can see a very thorough review of the bike. Um, I've been riding it for a month now, so all my initial impressions were spot on, I feel like. It's just an aggressive trail bike. You can pedal all day. So guys, thanks for tuning in. And make sure you stay tuned for me ripping this uh, bike the whole summer season. It's going to be a blast. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.